Hello, my name is Gabriel, and I'm here to provide you a demonstration on an innovative approach to lockout tagout. Those familiar who have performed this task understand the risks associated with energy isolation, the unintended startups, the exposure to arc flash and shocks, and just how time consuming these lockout procedures can be. Let's look at how Safebox can eliminate these challenges while increasing your productivity. Safebox is a two part system consisting of our master unit and our field isolation devices. With this easy to use touch interface, have access to real time data, such as your motor IDs, locations, and energy states. With our continuous monitoring of the system, any fault that may occur out in the field are relayed right to the master unit. And a history tab for time stamped events of lockouts and startups. In addition to our indicator lights and our start and stop, we have a locking bar mechanism which verifies the isolation mechanically is completed to pneumatic hydraulic and an electrical system while exceeding stringent energy isolation standards. The second part of our system are the field isolation devices. Similar to your conventional disconnects and isolation valves, these devices are responsible for the mechanical and physical isolation of hazardous energy. These units can support pneumatic, hydraulic and electrical systems. These plug and play devices are integrated in the field downstream from the motor and enclosed in ruggedized material to ensure optimal performance even in harsh conditions. With built-in intelligence, these units will ensure all information is relayed back to the master to validate its functionality. In order to provide you a quick demonstration of how our system works, I have two motors here, each individually tied to a corresponding field isolation device. If I want to perform the isolation and the system's still up and running, it's not going to let me perform it, as well as this locking bar isn't going to be released. If I kill the power and perform a control stop and then request isolation, because of the continuous monitoring of our system, I can't perform the lockout. Once I hit a zero energy state, I request the isolation, my bar is released, I apply my padlock, and now I'm in an isolated and locked out state. In order to energize the system, it's as simple as removing your padlock. The system is still in an isolated state. I request energy. And I'm back up and running. Lockout tagout can be as simple as a touch of a button 